Hi, my name is Paul Lochrenko, and I would like to demonstrate to you uh, the new PLX DM6 multi gauge installed in a Lamborghini Gallardo. Uh, this video is shot from my camera phone, so uh, it's uh, nothing fancy, but just wanted to give you guys a uh, demonstration of how powerful the new PLX DM6 is. Um, so, here I've got two DM6s mounted in the interior of um, the vehicle and uh, let me start it up for you so right away you'll notice that the the gauges boot up uh, they automatically detect the sensors so there's no setup required uh, I've got uh, the right gauge set up to monitor my right bank of my V10 uh, and the left gauge monitoring the left bank and um, it's very simple. Uh, it's got three cap sense touchscreen buttons. The left location here, I can change the, my right bank, left bank. So I'll say AFR 1 and 2. And my right button here, I can change the style. So I've got a graph view. I've got peak and hold. And uh, back to numeric. Um, it also has resettable peak and hold. Um, I can press the logo and hold it and this will tell me my range of the LED sweep as well as my unit of measurement. So I've got it on gasoline AFR but I can very well set this to lambda or if I'm using um, this on a different vehicle I can set it up to diesel, methanol, ethanol, LPG, E85 and also uh, lambda. So everything is plug and play um, and uh, uh, all your data is right in front of you. Okay, next I'd like to show you how I'm getting the sensor data into the DM6 inside the vehicle. Uh, here we're looking at the engine bay of the Lamborghini Gallardo uh, 5 liter V10. Um, I've got two wideband SMAFR uh, controllers mounted uh, inside the engine bay here. So one of them is monitoring the left bank and here's the controller here, uh, the red box, and here is the wideband uh, oxygen sensor which comes with it. I've got the same setup here uh, on the right bank. Um, there's the controller, uh, the red box, as well as the wideband sensor there mounted behind the catalytic converter. In this setup I've actually replaced the stock narrowband oxygen sensors. I've just basically unscrewed them, cut it, and I am feeding the 0 to 1 volt simulated narrowband signal back into the ECU to make it think that I'm still running the stock narrowbands. Uh, I've been running this setup for about two months now in this vehicle and it's been running great. Um, no engine uh, check codes thrown. Uh, the fuel efficiency is, is still the same as the stock setting and um, it's been running great. So these two controllers are feeding the signal into the DM6 inside uh, the vehicle but I can very well daisy chain more sensor modules. I can get EGT, VAC boost, uh, air intake temperatures, oil temp, uh, water temp and just daisy chain that uh, along with these modules and the DM6 will automatically detect those without any setup uh, and it's a fully plug-and-play solution so uh, here's my setup so far and uh, thanks for watching